From the gripping saga of Star Wars to the ancient wisdom of Stoic philosophy, the tale of Anakin Skywalker's downfall is a stark reminder of the perils of emotional attachment. Imagine loving someone so deeply that you'd risk everything, even your very soul, to prevent losing them. This was the story of Anakin Skywalker, who turned to the dark side in a desperate attempt to save his beloved Padme. But what happens when our deepest fears become reality, when the very thing we cling to slips through our fingers? Although extreme, Anakin's fear of loss is a fear many people share, and often, we go to great lengths to keep the people or the things we love present in our lives. This isn't just a tale from a galaxy far, far away, it's a profound human dilemma that echoes through the teachings of Stoicism today. Diving into the depths of human attachment and loss, we delve into the teachings of Stoicism, examining how its principles can be applied as practical steps outlined for detaching from people and situations. So, I encourage you to stay with us till the end and take note of every step as an actionable wisdom guide to help you navigate the often turbulent waters of human relationships and emotions. Step 1. Step away from that person for a while. Sometimes the wisest action is to create distance, not to create a void but to gain clarity. Picture this, you're in a vibrant party, the music's loud, people are talking, and amidst this, you're trying to understand a friend's whisper. Hard, isn't it? That's what it's like when we're too close to a person or situation, our emotions, like the party noise, drown out clarity. Stepping back is like stepping out of the party into a quieter space where you can hear and think clearly. Seneca, with his profound insight, once said, as often as you sojourn, return to yourself. This isn't just about physical space, it's about mental and emotional space too. When feelings cloud our vision, a step back helps us observe them, like watching clouds drift across the sky, understanding they're separate from us. This detachment isn't coldness, it's a way to observe the situation and our reactions to it objectively. It's about seeing the chessboard, not just the chess piece you're holding. To apply this today, you don't need a villa in the countryside like the ancient Stoics, it can be as simple as turning off your phone for an hour, taking a walk, or just sitting quietly in a room. The goal is to find a space where your thoughts aren't drowned out by the constant buzz of life. It's in these quiet moments that we find the strength to make decisions not based on immediate emotions but on reasoned thought and inner wisdom. This step back is your power move, your space to breathe and see beyond the fog of the immediate. Step 2. Consider the rationality of distancing yourself. Choosing to distance yourself from someone isn't a decision made in haste, it's a thoughtful process echoing the rationality and virtue stoicism values. Picture your life as a journey on a boat, the people in your life are like the winds and currents, some help you sail smoothly while others might lead you into choppy waters. Here's where you, as the captain, need to decide which winds to harness and which storms to avoid. This decision is not about avoidance, it's about steering your life in a direction that aligns with your values and well-being. Epictetus, a Stoic who transformed his life from slavery to wisdom, often stressed the importance of choosing associations that align with our inner freedom. His life teaches us a valuable lesson, not all who wander into our lives bring light, some cast shadows that can dim our own shine. Reflect on your relationships as if they were mirrors. What do they reflect back to you, joy, growth, and understanding, or doubt, discomfort, and dismay? Choosing to distance is not an act of abandonment, it's a deliberate choice towards self-preservation and moral integrity. Stoicism isn't about cold logic, it's about warm wisdom. It asks us to consider, does this person add to my life like a harmonious melody or disrupt it like a discordant note? As you ponder this, remember the words of Epictetus. We are not disturbed by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens. It's not just about the person but your perception of their impact on your life. Are they a chapter in your story that encourages your growth or a footnote that distracts from your journey? Ultimately, the decision to distance yourself is about creating a life story that you're proud to narrate. It's about being true to yourself, your values, and your journey. Stoicism teaches us to embrace relationships that enrich our narrative and gently let go of those that don't. It's about crafting a life where every person and experience is a deliberate, thoughtful addition to the tapestry of your existence. Step 3. Have a chat with someone you can rely on. 
When the world feels like a jigsaw puzzle and you're struggling to fit the pieces together, it's time to reach out. Stoicism, while a champion's inner strength, also values the power of connection. Talking to someone with trust is like finding an anchor in choppy seas. It's not about offloading our problems but about gaining clarity and perspective. Think of it as having a co-navigator in the journey of life, someone who helps you map out the terrain when your own compass feels a bit off. Seneca, with his deep understanding of human nature, recognized the power of shared wisdom. He compared a friend to a mirror reflecting back not just our image but our innermost truths. This reflection isn't just about seeing ourselves clearly, it's about Consideration of the potential consequences of your actions Distancing yourself is a significant choice, and it's crucial to weigh the outcomes carefully. Picture it as standing at the crossroads of detachment, where each path represents a potential consequence. Stoicism teaches us that impulsive decisions are contrary to its principles. Instead, it encourages thoughtful contemplation. Consider the potential consequences of distancing yourself from a person or situation. Reflect on how it aligns with your values, aspirations, and overall well-being. Imagine each scenario as a chapter in your life story. What impact will this decision have on your narrative? Will it contribute to your growth, resilience, and inner freedom, or could it lead to unintended repercussions? Stoicism urges us to be architects of our fate, making deliberate choices that resonate with our core beliefs. This step is about forecasting the emotional and practical aftermath of your decision. Will it bring you closer to the life you aspire to lead, or will it introduce complications and regrets? Stoicism reminds us that the power to shape our destiny lies not only in our actions but also in our thoughtful consideration of the potential consequences. In today's fast-paced world, taking a moment for introspection before making significant decisions is a valuable practice. Consider the potential consequences of your actions as stepping stones on the path to a life aligned with your principles and values. This deliberate approach is an embodiment of Stoic wisdom, guiding you through the intricate labyrinth of human relationships and emotions. Unnecessary layers and honing in on your fundamental needs. Consider these needs as the pillars that support your emotional and mental well-being. Step 7. Focus deliberately on your fundamental needs. In this final stride on the path of detachment, turn your attention inward to the core of your being. Here lies the essence of Stoicism, focusing on what truly matters for your inner growth and well-being. It's about stripping away the unnecessary layers and honing in on your fundamental needs. Consider these needs as the pillars that support your emotional and mental well-being. Start by identifying what truly nourishes your soul, what brings you joy, and what aligns with your values. This could be meaningful connections, activities that inspire you, or moments of solitude for introspection. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate an internal locus of control, focusing on elements within our grasp. Reflect on your daily routine and assess whether it aligns with your fundamental needs. Are you allocating time for activities that nurture your well-being or are you caught in a cycle of distractions? Stoicism teaches us that deliberate focus on what truly matters allows us to navigate life's complexities with resilience and clarity. Consider incorporating mindfulness practices such as meditation or gratitude exercises into your routine. These can serve as anchors, grounding you in the present moment and fostering a deeper connection with your fundamental needs. Remember, the goal is not perfection but a conscious effort to prioritize what contributes to your inner harmony. As you embark on this journey of focusing deliberately on your fundamental needs, envision it as a return to the roots of your true self. In the midst of life's demands, Stoicism invites you to rediscover and nourish the essence that sustains you, fostering a sense of balance and purpose. In conclusion, these seven steps on the path of detachment draw inspiration from Stoic philosophy, offering timeless guidance for navigating the complexities of human emotions and relationships. By incorporating these principles into your life, you can cultivate resilience, wisdom, and a deeper understanding of your own journey. Here's the conclusion, organized and punctuated. Non-essential, the noise, the fluff, and honing in on what nourishes your soul. This isn't about material needs, it's far deeper, it's about emotional sustenance, moral integrity, and personal growth. Think of your life as a garden. 
What does it need to thrive? Sunlight, water, care, these are the essentials. Similarly, identify what is essential for your emotional and spiritual growth and focus on nurturing these aspects. Epicurus, born into hardship, understood the importance of focusing on what truly matters. His teachings highlight the power of discernment, separating the wheat from the chaff in our lives. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Apply this wisdom to your emotional landscape. It's about knowing what you need to feel fulfilled, stable, and at peace. It's recognizing that sometimes less is more. In a world of endless choices and distractions, it's about finding contentment in simplicity and depth. Practically, this means taking time to reflect on what brings you genuine happiness and peace. Is it quiet time alone, meaningful conversations with friends, engaging in a hobby? Identify these core needs and make them a priority. It's like packing for a journey, bring only what is essential, what adds value to your journey. This deliberate focus helps in detaching from the unnecessary, from people and situations that don't align with your fundamental needs. By centering your life around these needs, you create a foundation of stability and contentment. This isn't a one-time task but an ongoing process, a constant return to what truly matters. As you journey through life, keep revisiting your fundamental needs, adjusting and realigning as you grow and evolve. This focus is your compass, guiding you through life's complexities with clarity and purpose. It's about living intentionally, not just existing, and in this intentional living, you find the essence of Stoicism, a life lived with purpose, wisdom, and inner peace. In embarking upon the path of disengagement from the entanglements of people and situations, we find a reservoir of profound insights and practical advice within the teachings of Stoicism. This philosophy invites us to momentarily step back, to weigh the reason behind our distancing, to engage in transparent dialogue, to set boundaries around our emotional responses, to ponder the repercussions of our actions, to take respite from the bombardments of external influences like social media, and to concentrate on our core necessities. Such actions are in harmony with the Stoic virtues. Stoicism, with its enduring sagacity, enlightens us that detachment is not akin to emotional numbness, rather, it is the attainment of a serene and resilient inner state. As we meander through the intricacies of human connections and the trials of existence, the tenets of Stoicism shine as a lighthouse of inspiration, steering us towards a life enriched with virtue, wisdom, and emotional fortitude. We welcome your thoughts in the comments, which step resonates with you or which one are you inclined to try? If you found value in this video, we encourage you to express your appreciation by liking it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, share with those you hold dear, and ring the notification bell to be among the first to savor our freshly baked stoic wisdom.